Hi, it's Radin from Rocker Dog. There are many people who love dogs but suffer from allergies. But being allergic to dogs doesn't mean you can't have one in your life. One of those people is Rose, who asked me this question. Can you give me a list of large, hypoallergenic dogs? Well, not only I'm going to give you a list of large ones, I'm going to mention smaller ones and I'm going to give you some tips to take care of them. Dog allergy is becoming a common health problem and more and more people are looking for hypoallergenic breeds. That's why these dogs are more popular than ever. The truth is that no dog is 100% hypoallergenic since all of them shed some allergen. But there are some breeds that are better for allergy sufferers. The most known hypoallergenic dog breeds are most often the smaller ones like the Baton Terrier, Maltese Terrier, Brussels Griffon, Bichon Frise, or Havanese. Those dogs are great family hypoallergenic companions, but Rose's question was about a large or giant dog breeds. So let's take a look at Rocka Dog Hypoallergenic Large Dog List. Number 5. Bouvier de Flanders. This big teddy bear might look rough. But the truth is, this is a perfect large dog for families that is hypoallergenic. Most hypoallergenic dog breeds are also non-shedding, but it is not true with Bouvier, so you will still have to vacuum a lot. But he will not bother you and send you for your allergy medications. You should groom your dog often to keep his coat in good shape. Not only he is hypoallergenic, he is also kid-friendly. Well, in fact, he just loves kids. So again, this is a perfect choice for a large family dog that is hypoallergenic. Number 4. Afghan Hound This is one of the oldest and one of the most noble dogs around. It may sound unbelievable that this dog is hypoallergenic, looking at all that fur, but it is true. The beautiful coat requires a lot of attention. You should groom Afghan Hound very carefully at least once a week. This dog is hypoallergenic, but he is shedding regularly. Next to his aristocratic and noble looks and hypoallergenic ability, Afghan Hound is very playful, dignified and happy dog. Number 3. Giant Schnauzer If Bouvier was an excellent family dog, then this is a great choice for a hypoallergenic guarding dog. But unlike Bouvier, this is a non-shedding breed, so you do not have to deal with all that fur in your home and in your car. His wiry coat is not only hypoallergenic, but also weather resistant. So he is suitable for living in rainy and winter climates. Regular grooming is essential, including brushing and buffing. You should also groom his beard, so he will not have snacks from his food all day long. In the past, this dog was used as a guarding dog in breweries and butcher shop. So again, this is the perfect choice for a hypoallergenic guarding dog. Number 2. Bergamasco Bergamasco is non-shedding and hypoallergenic dog breed. During his shedding time, he will lose only few hair, so it's super easy to keep your home clean. Bergamasco have one of the most interesting coat of all dogs. It is made up from three different types of hair which blend together to form the mat. His coat not only protecting him from wind, but also from injuries during fight with predators. His coat also doesn't need a lot of grooming. Only two baths per year are required. Number 1. Standard Poodle I know this is not exactly a large dog, but when someone says hypoallergenic dogs, I imagine poodles. For me, they are synonyms for hypoallergenic dogs, so I have to put them on this list, and they are not that small. Poodles, toy or standard version, doesn't matter, will not trigger allergies, and they are non-shedding dogs. You should groom your poodle once a week with a brush and occasional bath. Poodles are one of the smartest dog breeds in the world, they are eager to please and they are affectionate companions. So if you necessarily don't need a large dog breed and you are okay with medium sized dog, 
Poodle is the choice for you. Finally, I would like to say that it is necessary to bath your dog regularly to remove dander. That is why I mentioned grooming in every dog on our list. It is especially important in larger dogs because they produce more dander than a smaller breeds. Regular bathing will keep your allergic reactions at minimum. So as you can see, being allergic to dogs definitely doesn't mean you can't have one in your life. As always, thank you for watching the video. If you have any other question related to dogs, ask me in comment and I will answer with my reply or making new Q&A video. Definitely subscribe to our channel and check our community on Instagram and Facebook. You can see the links down below. See you in the next video.